Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of Brent crude oil and spot gold. I'll start with ice Brent crude oil futures. An attempted key reversal down last Friday, failing though to make the requisite lower low and being supported, oddly enough, by the short moving average, currently 91.12. Interestingly, the top side was capped, though you could argue that it wasn't. It seemed to be capped by the declining short-medium moving average, currently at 93.84. Perhaps the most interesting feature was the close back below the neckline, currently 93.46, of the October to November 2021 head and shoulders top. Which was a not that interesting head and shoulders top, but one that has made its force felt some distance from whence it was created. There is one, maybe two other patterns I'd like to discuss. You see, we have two possible bear channels in operation. They both have the same lower bear channel line, currently at 80.52, originating from early August. But the uh, two upper bear channel lines, one is from the March high, currently 107.48, and the other from the end of July, currently at 97.55. Well, they could be either one. Right now, I'm minded to look at the more recent end of July to date one as possibly having more relevance. So far today, not that much. A move up towards the neckline and down to the short moving average. And looking right now like an indecisive doji cross. So no real clue there as yet. Spot gold. A second bearish black crow on Friday and a follow on to the previous sessions combination of a bearish engulfing pattern and outside day. Perhaps it's Two most interesting features were firstly Friday's close back below the middle time, currently 1651.90 of the June to August bearish shift pitchfork, and secondly how the declining short moving average, currently at 1670, managed to cap the market. Overall we are still within the two bearish shift pitchforks. The first one is the June to August pitchfork I've already pointed out, but the market is also within the breached, possibly broken, early March to mid-April bearish shift pitchfork. And in this one, the market is actually in between the middle tine below, currently at 1614.30, and the upper tine above, currently 1685.60. These two pitchforks, bearish pitchforks, are the core drivers of this bearish market. Finally, this brings me once again to something I've been talking about for months. You see, there is an argument for the November 2021 to date action being a possible, really big head and shoulders pattern head and shoulders top. We have already reached the primary target on the downside where the, the interesting March 2021 low is. However, we still have a harder to achieve secondary target down in the 1560 area, well below the bottom of my daily chart. Now, you may be wondering, those seem a little small to be targets for this move down. Well, I can explain that. You see, I use the, Mar the April high at 1998 in my calculation rather than the more extreme March high at 2070. You see, I would rather err in caution than fail in excess. Well, so far today, a reactionary move back up from the open, over the middle time again, but not by that much. Though it's still looking like a bullish harami right now. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.